This is Bob Mentley, here to show you some of the newest features in the most recent update to Onyx, which is 4.6. One of the biggest changes and additions we made to the software was building upon our already innovative Dylos uh, engine. What Dylos did initially was allow you to take media and map it to your lighting rig, and now what we allow Dylos to do is actually take control of any parameter of any light fixture in your lighting rig. How we can do that is we go to our Dylos zone and select it very similarly to how we control it normally. And we go to a new mapping tab. In this mapping tab we have a few options uh, of what we want Dylos con to control. The default is intensity and color control of your lights, but to utilize the new features we actually select one, two, or three presets. When we select one of the options we're given another window. In this mapping window we're going to tell Dylos what presets to recall when the content is a certain color, in this case black and white. So when the content is black I will play back this preset and when the content is white, I will play back this preset. We can then go to another tab called our Generators tab. This is another type of content that we've included in our media package. This content can be manipulated and altered a little bit more than your typical media content. So this is extremely useful when utilizing Dylos and the new parameter effects capabilities. So once we have our preset selected and our content selected, we can now turn on the Dylos zone. So now you can see that with this new parameter mapping, Dylos is actually creating a visual effect with our lighting fixtures based simply on media content. So how the effect is created within Dylos, like we talked about earlier, you choose two presets, one to be triggered when the content is white and another when the content is black. So you can see on our Dylos screen here, we have a gradiated um, piece of content that fades into a white bar. And so the preset that we're recalling when it's white slowly fades in and then it immediately drops back to the black only preset which allows us to create a much more dynamic lighting effect. The two presets contain multiple bits of information. The first preset is all of our lights focused downstage center in an open cyan setting and the second preset is our lights focused straight out into the crowd with a gobo and a white color. So Dylos can actually again utilize and control multiple parameters of a fixture with a few simple steps. That's one of, that is one of our newest features. For more information, video, visit, please visit our website, obsidiancontrol.com. Thank you very much.